Hello, this is Dr. Stephen Atchison from Shreveport, Louisiana, and I'm a total joint surgeon, and I've had the uh, privilege of using Zen Relief for the past several months. Today, we're going to show its application in total hip arthroplasty. I do a, a direct superior approach, and I do a robotic total hip. So the video is going to show us here doing a total hip replacement with the robotic arrays in place. We're just completing insertion of the implant. We're going to reduce the hip here, put it through a range of motion. After that, we're going to irrigate the wound, and you want to make sure that you dry the wound completely before applying the Zen Relief into the wound so it doesn't get diluted. Here, I'm doing a capsular closure, after which we're going to apply uh, 400 milligrams of the Zen Relief into the wound on top of our capsular closure. We'll make sure we fill up the entire joint space with the solution. We will also apply some underneath our gluteus maximus fascia, which we're doing here prior to closing the fascia. Again, we're just going to apply all 400 milligrams in the hip joint before closure. Here, we're closing the gluteus maximus fascia with a number one bike rule, kind of in standard fashion here. followed by a subcutaneous and a subcuticular closure, which we're completing here, followed by application of our uh, dressing system. Certainly any dressing system that you would like to use will work well with the uh, Zen Relief. Indication. Zen Relief is indicated in adults for installation to produce post-surgical analgesia for up to 72 hours after soft tissue and orthopedic procedures, including foot and ankle, and other procedures in which direct exposure to articular cartilage is avoided. Limitations of use. Safety and efficacy have not been established in highly vascular surgeries such as intrathoracic, large four or more level spinal, and head and neck procedures. Important safety information. Warning. Risk of serious cardiovascular and gastrointestinal events. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, cause an increased risk of serious cardiovascular thrombotic events, including myocardial infarction and stroke, which can be fatal. This risk may occur early in treatment and may increase with duration of use. Zen relief is contraindicated in the setting of coronary artery bypass graft cabbage surgery. NSAIDs cause an increased risk of serious gastrointestinal GI adverse events, including bleeding, ulceration, and perforation of the stomach or intestines, which can be fatal. These events can occur at any time during use and without warning symptoms. Elderly patients and patients with a prior history of peptic ulcer disease and or GI bleeding are at greater risk for serious GI events. Contraindications. Zen relief is contraindicated in patients with a known hypersensitivity, example, anaphylactic reactions and serious skin reactions to any amide local anesthetic, NSAIDs, or other components of Zen relief, with history of asthma, urticaria, or other allergic type reactions after taking aspirin or other NSAIDs. Severe, sometimes fatal, anaphylactic reactions to NSAIDs have been reported in such patients. Undergoing obstetrical paracervical block anesthesia, or undergoing cabbage. Warnings and precautions. Dose-related toxicity. Monitor cardiovascular and respiratory vital signs in patient's state of consciousness after application of Zen Relief. When using Zen Relief with other local anesthetics, overall local anesthetic exposure must be considered through 72 hours. Hepatotoxicity. If abnormal liver tests persist or worsen, perform a clinical evaluation of the patient. Hypertension. Patients taking some antihypertensive medication may have impaired response to these therapies when taking NSAIDs. Monitor blood pressure. Heart failure and edema. Avoid use of Zen Relief in patients with severe heart failure unless benefits are expected to outweigh risk of worsening heart failure. Renal toxicity. Monitor renal function in patients with renal or hepatic impairment, heart failure, dehydration, or hypovolemia. Avoid use of Zen Relief in patients with advanced renal disease unless benefits are expected to outweigh risk of worsening renal failure. Anaphylactic reactions. Seek emergency help if an anaphylactic reaction occurs. Risk of joint cartilage necrosis and degeneration with unapproved intraarticular use. Animal studies evaluating the effects of Zen Relief following intraarticular administration in the knee joint demonstrated cartilage necrosis and degeneration.
chondrolysis, limit exposure to articular cartilage due to the potential risk of chondrolysis. Methemoglobinemia. Cases have been reported with local anesthetic use. Serious skin reactions. NSAIDs, including meloxicam, can cause serious skin adverse reactions. NSAIDs can also cause fixed drug eruption, FDE. FDE may present as a more severe variant known as generalized bullous fixed drug eruption, GBFDE, which can be life-threatening. If symptoms present, evaluate clinically. Drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, DRESS. If symptoms are present, evaluate clinically. Fetal toxicity. Due to the risk of oligohydramnios, fetal renal dysfunction, and premature closure of the ductus arteriosus with NSAIDs, limit use of Zinrelief between about 20 to 30 weeks gestation and avoid use after about 30 weeks. Hematologic toxicity. Monitor hemoglobin and hematocrit in patients with any signs or symptoms of anemia. Drug interactions. Drugs that interfere with hemostasis. Monitor patients for bleeding who are using Zinrelief with drugs that interfere with hemostasis. Example, warfarin, aspirin, SSRIs, SNRIs. ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, or beta blockers. Use of Zinrelief may diminish the antihypertensive effect of these drugs. Monitor blood pressure. ACE inhibitors and ARBs. Use with Zinrelief in elderly, volume depleted, or those with renal impairment may result in deterioration of renal function. In such high-risk patients, monitor for signs of worsening renal function. Diuretics. NSAIDs can reduce natriuretic effect of furosemide and thiazide diuretics. Monitor patients to assure diuretic efficacy, including antihypertensive effects. Use in specific populations. Infertility. NSAIDs are associated with reversible infertility. Consider avoidance of Zinrelief in women who have difficulties conceiving. Severe hepatic impairment. Only use if benefits are expected to outweigh risk. Monitor for signs of worsening liver function. Severe renal impairment. Not recommended. Adverse reactions. Most common adverse reactions, incidence greater or equal to 5% in controlled clinical trials with Zinrelief are soft tissue procedures, vomiting, and orthopedic procedures, constipation, and headache. Report side effects to Heron at 1-844-437-6611 or to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or www.fda.gov forward slash medwatch. Please see full prescribing information, including box warning and updated warnings and precautions for serious skin reactions caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs.